Hi, it's Caitlin from Streets Head Style and I am very excited to be sharing some absolutely beautiful, super bright, beautiful polishes from Orly. I was sent these polishes by Nail Polish Canada. I will link their website down below. It's nailpolishcanada.com and I've been shopping them for years. It's a great place to buy nail polish if you're in Canada, so definitely check it out. So the collection I'm sharing with you today is the new Orly Electric Escape collection and I love everything about it. The minute I saw photos of this collection, I just knew I had to have it. I actually haven't bought an Orly polish in a long time, but they have been just making the most beautiful polishes lately. I love all of their color stories and the inspiration behind the polishes that they've been putting out and this one is absolutely no exception. Something that really blew me away about this collection was how opaque these polishes were in just two coats. I wore all of them in two coats and I think one of them I wore in one coat. So I'm incredibly impressed with the formula. I love the wide rounded brush, the flat brush that Orly uses. That makes it super easy to work with. But for neons that are this bright and this light at the same time, the formula is incredible. I was definitely expecting three coats, but I only needed two. So there you go. So I've also been trying to break out of my comfort zone and do nail art. So anyone who knows me and was a reader of my blog before I did YouTube knows that I was always going on and on about how I suck at nail art. I can't do nail art. I'm really bad at nail art. I don't, I just don't do it. So I thought I would challenge myself and get that negative mindset out of my head. And so I have been doing nail art and I wanted to share some ideas with you on how you could wear these polishes, but I've seen other people wearing them on Instagram and you can kind of do anything with them because they're so bright and beautiful. Maybe one day I will work up the courage to actually film myself doing some nail art, but in the meantime, it's, yeah, it's not, it's not finessed yet. So you can just look at what I created in the meantime and I will swatch away for you. So let's get into the swatches. So before I get into the actual nail polish descriptions for the individual polishes, I just wanted to read the color story for this collection. And what they say is this summer, we've dreamed up a collection inspired by those who wish to create their own hypersaturated reality. Tropical city streets drenched in a neon glow, synthetic symphonies pulsing from the city's nightlife hotspots, and thrilling scenes from neon noir adventures capture this season's essence. Let your inner club kit experiment with bright lilac, tangerine, and lime creams that disrupt the mundane as you plug into that electric escape. So I absolutely love that collection description. It, it really speaks to me, and I think these polishes really capture that perfectly. So... Let me talk to you though about Kaleidoscope Eyes because this polish is gorgeous and I'm in love with it. As you can as you can see, it applied perfectly in two coats and then now with the top coat, it has like a flawless finish, which is kind of rare for something as pastel as this polish. But honestly, I was completely blown away by this polish and it kind of set the tone for all of them. So I'm also going to show you one of my nail art looks that I did using Kaleidoscope Eyes as the base, and then I used two other polishes to create this look, which you'll see in a second. And here's another one, which is easy, but I thought it looked super cool. And here's Artificial Orange, which I had to adjust the settings on the video to get it more accurate, and it's hard to describe. So it's orange, but it's also a touch corally but super, super bright. So in direct sunlight, it looks like a neon orange, but I'm looking at it in the bottle right now and it definitely has some pink and coral to it. So it's kind of one of those things you have to see to believe. It's really hard to get color accurate swatches of this collection because everything's so bright and incredible, but I tried my very best. So this here, you can see it in two coats yet again with top coat and it's just amazing and squishy a little bit even though it's a cream and so so bright so I did some nail art with this one as well I used as you're going to see artificial orange as my base and then tangerine dream which you're going to see in a second I dotted it on 
And I should also note that I swatched all of these with the Glisten and Glow Ridge Filling Base Coat, which I think is great. And I've just decided that I'm always going to use it under creams because it makes the application even easier. But um, you could use any Ridge Filling Base Coat, though I do think that's a really good one. Back to this polish. So I would say this is a yellow but kind of more of an orange it's a little bit like that craft dinner mac and cheese color so while it is on the yellow side i would say it's a touch more orange than yellow and again it has a great formula as you can see totally perfect in two coats and then when you put the top coat on it just brings it up to be even glossier and brighter and some of these will dry down a bit dull because of that neon pigment and here's some nail art I did with Tangerine Dream as my base and then the two greens, which you'll see later. Here is Synthetic Symphony. This one is a super bright purple. It's super vibrant and this is pretty color accurate. I want to say it's a touch darker than this in real life. You might see I showed a clip of it outside in the sunlight. So it is just a bit darker than it's showing on screen, but it is super bright, super vibrant. And when I said earlier about how these will dry dull because of the neon pigment, they dry dull. But if you put top coat on, it'll bring the shine back. So not to worry. Here it is in two coats, plus I'm adding top coat. And as you can see, if you're a purple lover, I think this one is really beautiful and unique. And again, with such a good formula, it makes it a breeze to work with and then you can do nail art. It makes it so much easier when you have a good opaque polish to do nail art. So here's a little more color accurate of how it looks out in the bright light. I'm a big fan of it. And now we're getting into the green sort of colors. So this is Neon Paradise and I would best describe this as a neon lime green but it's coming off a bit chartreuse as well um it's hard to say in the bottle it looks more lime green but then on my nail i found it to be a little a little more leaning towards the chartreuse side so this one has the sheerest formula of all it um maybe could have used three coats but i just did two coats because my nails are short but I liked it that way, but if you wanted to, you could probably build it up in three if you have a really visible nail line or longer nails than me, but I think it's so squishy and pretty. I just love this polish and I love the name and I love everything about it. And here is some nail art I did with Neon Paradise as my base, and then I just striped Plastic Jungle, which you're going to see now over top. So Plastic Jungle is, this one is super hard to capture accurately on screen. So it's not as light as this. In real life, I would say it's just a bit darker. Um, it's not a true neon green in that, you know, classic sense of it. So it's kind of like a neon emerald green. And it's just so beautiful. I actually only did one coat of this. I think I meant to do two, but forgot where I was when I was swatching. But as you can see, it looks great in one coat even. So if you wanted to, you could probably wear it in one. And um, here it is. It's so bright. It's so vibrant. I love it. And I think this video captures it a bit more accurately in the sun, but it's even darker still. It's just really, really hard to capture I would love to hear in the comments what you think of my nail art, what you think of these polishes, if you've already picked up these um, polishes or some of the polishes. I know a lot of you are probably already subscribed to that Orly Color Pass, I think it's called. We don't have that in Canada, but maybe one day, and that would be really tempting because I would love to just get all of the Orly right to my mailbox. So anyway, let me know in the comments. I hope you're doing well. I hope it's sunny wherever you are. It's sunny here and I am loving it. I just love summer. Um, it's not summer yet, but I love spring into summer. Anyway, hopefully I will see you in my next video and have a great day. Bye.